Hi, and welcome to my um, instructional video on using the light sensor within the micro bit. So, first of all, a little bit about uh, the light sensor on the micro bit, and then we'll jump right into uh, coding one. So, we've got uh, the micro bit here. We can see that we have a 5x5 five five grid, and the LEDs, there are 25 uh, LEDs on the front of the face there. And let's just talk a little bit about uh, LEDs and how the, they work here on this, uh, the micro bit. So an LED is a light emitting diode. And the way that an LED works is that they have uh, electricity that will go through it and it will emit some light. And so in this case, uh, the LEDs are of the wavelength uh, in the uh, for red, and so they'll um, emit a, a red uh, light. Now there are different LEDs out there um, that will emit different types of um, colored light, uh, but in this case we've just got the red ones. And so the cool thing about this is that the these LEDs can also work as light sensors, and so just like we have the electricity going through it to produce light. If we have light hitting the LEDs, this will produce some current within the LED circuit and the micro bit can pick up the current to be able to tell if there is um, some light or what level of light there is to be exposed to it. And so what we can do or what we're going to do now is we're going to create a little video or create a little project that we'll be able to tell um, the light level in there and maybe we can add, uh, depending on if there's a certain level of light, uh, we can have something happen. So I'm gonna just hop in here to a new project. We're gonna have light testing or resting. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so it's just gonna be resting there uh, and, and measuring the, uh, the light level. And so these type of projects, we can use them, um, well, you know, different light levels that are out there. So if we're doing something inside, outside, next to the window, maybe to tell if it's a night or a day type of problem. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you where you can get some more tutorials, uh, resources on the Microbit website um, after we go ahead and code our uh, project. So again, we have our simulator on the left-hand side. We've got our blocks in the middle here, and we're going to have the code where we're going to drop our code into it. So the light sensor is a form of input as opposed to an output. So we, we're going to go into the input section here. And then just at the bottom there, we're going to see light level. And that's the only block that I've seen uh, within all the books that are there uh, that can be to measure the level. Users, you can use uh, different input blocks or different blocks in there, um, but for us, we're just going to use the light level right now. So I'm just going to drag and drop it right here. Again, we'll see that if it's grayed out, it won't contribute to our current project. So we're going to want to do something to display or show us about the um, about the number, about the light level. So I'll just do a quick one or one, a, a simple way or a simple example of doing that will be to show the number and then we'll have the light level there. All right, so again, once we have that in place, we can go ahead and press the simulator And then we'll see that on the simulator, there'll, there'll be a little light level uh, on the left-hand side of the simulator. And so we can also see the scrolling number. So 128, and if I bring it up, so 200. Next time around, we should see a 200. So again, the light level on here will give us, should give us a little information when you hover over these, it usually gives a little information about the block. It's just being slow right now. Um, but we know that the light level can be measured from 0 to 255. And so that goes back to um, measurement 
and, uh, and data collection and using a binary way of, of data storage. So um, we can talk more about that, but essentially what it means is a, a bit is storing a, a zero or a one and using a collection of uh, bits, we call them bytes, uh, or eight by uh, eight bits is a byte. Uh, we can collect a certain. We can collect two hundred and fifty six uh, different uh, values. And so this is where the light level is going from zero to two fifty five. We have two hundred and fifty six uh, opportunities. And so here we have this is the case. And so it's the same. It, and if you do the the math, it works out to two to the power of eight. So a little side note for you. And uh, there we are. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pair our micro bit. Micro bit should still be connected. I'm just going to go ahead and pair that device. So again, we can see it pop up. I'm going to click connect. Great. I'm going to check on my camera here. Should be popping up. Just have to reconnect my camera. Sorry about that. So while that's happening, we can see again this is scrolling across. Um, and we can, you know, this is a very simple type of uh, code just to get your, you know, started uh, with using the, um, the light level there. Come on, it should pop up. Light. Now I want two things to pop up. Sorry about this. All right, let's try one more time. Just gonna restart the app on my phone. <clears throat> and we're back. All right, so thanks very much for that. We're back and we've got our um, LED connected or our micro bit connected. And also we have this popping up too. So it's like two things are awesome. So. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, the light level is applied to the LED screen, uh, a range from zero, which is the darkness, uh, and then we have uh, to 255, uh, which is very bright. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and download this. So we're just going to hit download. Again, we've already paired the micro bit. And so then we'll, we should see in the camera, we'll have the... <coughs> This will flash. It's taking a little bit, a few seconds to download here. So we can see that I can see it on my end, but I know that the, the frame rate might not show you that it's uh, downloading onto the micro bit, uh, but we'll see that in a few seconds here.
All right, so we've got a little bit of an error on the connection there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my micro bit. I'm going to connect it back in. I'm going to go through the pairing process again. So, pair. Well, it says that it's uh, connected. So, download to micro bit. Let's see what it's got. Bad response. Zero seventeen. Seen that one before, but we'll see if that that should change it. Okay, so uh, I had to do a little bit of changing, um, but I think we're back. Uh, there was something wrong with the website and the the micro bit and the cable and everything, but uh, we're back. So. Uh, you shouldn't have any of those sort of troubles, but if you do, please feel free to reach out. So again, we've got our, our micro bit, just a forever, um, showing forever the, the number, uh, and we're just going to click download. So again, micro bit is paired, and you can see uh, the flashing there, and then you'll see we've got a, um, it started off as 255, so it must have been a pretty bright there. But then it's uh, showing zero currently, so it's somewhat dark in that in that area where it is. And so if I take my flashlight and I just bring it over, you'll see that those numbers start to go up. So 19, 36, I think it is there. 19 or 198. So you can see how it gets. It's starting to fluctuate a little bit. That's sort of cool to see. So that's one way of we can do it. But again, it's like using the LEDs to display the light um, as a, a number that's scrolling across, which is okay, but it, it doesn't necessarily give you a good representation of it. Um, and so what I'm going to show you is I'm just going to take this and grab the light level and put it off there. And then we're going to show uh, the light level, but in a different representation. And so we're going to use the LEDs. And we're going to plot a bar graph of the light level up to, and this is the range. So we're going from zero to a certain value. And so in this, we know that the light level can go up to 255. So we're going to go ahead and put 255 here. So now once we allow it to go through, and we see that we've got if we are halfway on the simulator, we can see as we increase the brightness, the plot or the bar graph will also change. So let's go ahead and download this and see how this looks on our micro bit. So again, we see it's pretty low, but as I bring my flashlight a little bit closer, you can start to see it going up and up and up. So it's sort of neat to be able to to use this to help us when we're when we're exploring in that sense. So again, that's a fun way of doing it with the um, the light level. Now, one last thing that I wanted to show you uh, in this sense, and um, here we don't even need to uh, plot it onto um, the LEDs. One thing that we could do is maybe have a, a variable, and so we'll just say light level uh, and so we're going to take this set light level measurement as the light level. And so one cool thing that you'll notice on on here, just below it, you'll see the show device, and there was also another one when um, when we had the ability to, to change this, we were also show simulator. And so the neat thing is,
should have left it as before. So we've got the show simulator, but the cool thing is when we click download and download it into our micro bit, the micro bit is now going to be connected to the computer. And so if I click on show device, the device is actually now we can use this as a device uh, measurement, a data collection tool. And so if I hold the light level or the, my flashlight close to it, you can see how it's constantly collecting data. Now something like the light level doesn't necessarily change as quickly as this, but we can add in a, a pause in there and we can have it measure it over uh, 10 second periods or 20 second periods. So if I just go here um, to the pause, which is just down there, and then maybe I can change this to a five second interval, and then we'll download this again. And then we can see how that will look. So now we go to the device. And so now it's going to be a lot smoother and it will take five seconds to update. But this is something that maybe we can look at, um, you know, changing that time, time delay and see how it looks uh, over time. You know, having this again next to the window, uh, how will that affect it? So as I had promised, I'm going to head over to the um, Microbit website. So this is the microbit.org um, slash projects page. And so there's a different, uh, there's a whole bunch of different activities here. And so uh, I see right there, there's the nightlight activity. Um, but what I want us to do is we're going to head down on the, the left hand side. There's a device feature option. And so if I just click on the light sensor, it will bring three projects right away for me to be able to play with uh, and explore with my students. Um, so we've got the beginner, intermediate and advanced. Um, and so, for example, here as a nightlight, uh, it goes through sort of the making of it, uh, how it works. So that's uh, interesting to see how it works and then the code for it. And though now you can um, push this to your students if you're using the um, Microbit Classroom, you can open it directly and make code. You can download the hex file and they can remix it or you can just go through it with them uh, on the during your, your lesson. And so um, this is just a nice way of, you know, if you're, if you're sort of stuck and you need some more resources, uh, the make co or the microbit website is great for getting those um, in there. So again, wanted to thank you for watching this uh, tutorial on the uh, light sensor uh, and how it works. Um, again, please feel free to reach out if you need any support and happy coding. Bye for now.